And that looks pretty good. Hit enter and go over to the right side, command T. Hold down the command key and go in and fix that side as well, which I didn't have to do on the other side because the uh, the room was not skewed. So in this one I am making sure that I am aligned with both of those areas. Okay, so now if I take out the perspective, for the most part it looks good. Over here on the left side there's a little bit of a gap. I didn't go quite as far as I should have. I'm holding down the option key and just pulling it out a little bit more. And that's pretty good. And you can see now that the line of things, there's a little bit of a jump here over in this corner and I go back and fix that with a, um, uh, with a clone layer. For now, what I'm going to do is I actually want to be able to see the, um, the areas that shouldn't have ocean on them. I'm going to do L for lasso tool. And you want the polygon one. I'm going to make my selection. Yours should be a little bit better than mine. Um, after I do that first one, up at the top of the um, toolbar, I want to make sure that I'm on Add to Selection. And I'm going to go Shift L to get to the freestyle one. And then um, you would actually zoom in for purposes of, of this. Oops. Let's just make sure when I switch to that other tool, I'm still on Add. For purposes of this one, I'm doing some kind of quick and dirty selection. You, however, would make a much better job of it. Back to that polygon, making sure I'm still in Add. Okay, so now I have my full selected area. I'm going to go back to the ocean layer, make it visible, and I'm going to option, hold down the option key and click the mask button, which is going to mask the correct areas. If for some reason you accidentally did it and you see something different, Command I will invert that. So if this is what you got, just click on the mask on the layers panel and Command I will change that. So now our next thing is I want to change the color of it. I'm going to hold down the option key and go to hue saturation. The option key gives me this dialog box. I'm going to click use previous layer, say OK. That means any changes only happen to the thing it's clipped to, which could be either a layer or, in this case, an entire folder full of layers. And I'm uh, in the exercise, I think we are doing sort of a blue, and we are darkening it a bit. Now, you have several other options in terms of, you notice it feels a little bit flat, and if I um, click the, uh, the light on and off, you'll see that there are some darkened areas. And that would give it more dimension. So you have a couple of ways to achieve that. I'm going to click on the ocean folder and I could lower the opacity. That's one way. I start to see through it a little bit. Um, another way would be taking it back up to 100% and trying overlay soft light or hard light as a blending mode. And those are the ones that are really going to um, give you a strong sense of it being there. Now, um, the other thing I can do is, let's say if I go back up to normal and um, reduce its opacity just a bit, I can actually bring in a little more shadowing in there by making sure I'm on the ocean layer 
I'm going to hold down that option key. This time I'm going to do a level. You could do a curve or exposure. The box is checked. Use previous layer. So you can have more than one. I'm going to darken it a bit. I'm going to take that mask and I'm going to fill it with black. That hides what I just did. Now I'm going to use a brush, a big brush. It's going to be very uh, low hardness and low opacity and flow. I'm going to paint with white to kind of bring back some of that darkness. Now I'm going to up the um, amount that the brush is doing, but you'll see that it gives you the ability to kind of paint in and what you're doing is you're painting in with um, with shadowing to kind of give that room a little bit more dimension. So that's the basic process. There should be full instructions on this as well.